Good morning. It's very, 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 very early. It's a quarter after five. And um, good morning. It's very, very good morning. It's very early this morning. It's quarter after five. At least early for us. We never get up so early. It's still dark outside. And this is because we have to catch an early flight. This morning we are flying to. I don't know, let's see. We are flying to Punta Arenas this morning, so that's in the very far south of South America. Good morning, good morning. It's very early. <laughs> it's too early for Marty, I think. But we had a quick Marty. breakfast. We stayed at a hotel very close to the airport. Which was quite smart because there's a monster queue here. You see it. <laughs> Look at this. I hope you will catch our flight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the clientele is very different. <laughs> Everybody has backpacks going hiking, so that's what we are going to do as well. But without backpacks, <laughs> no, no camping this time. <laughs> Checked in. We have concert security, boarding, sitting in a bus, heading south. Very efficient at this airport. A big compliment to Santiago Airport, Santiago de Chile Airport. And the, the boarding passes are like very thin paper, like from the cashier. Yeah, like the receipt from the cashier. So they really uh, save on paper. in Punta Arenas and we have a flat which is very 60s Airbnb. like an Airbnb this is our kitchen there's the other gentleman our kitchen has a fantastic view when you wash the dishes you can enjoy this amazing view and uh, we have a corridor which is also very 60s and this is our bedroom. Bedroom is actually quite nice. What's really funny here is it must be very luxurious to have a duvet on the on the bed, but they don't put a duvet cover. Yeah, but there's this underneath. And underneath you have a fresh blanket. Yeah. And this keeps is you just warm on top, so you're not freezing. It. Yeah, no, which probably. can be useful here. We have even extra space. We're going to use this as our as a wardrobe, and here is our bathroom, and the bathroom also has a window and a nice flower curtain. So this is our accommodation for the next four days. I love this. That is weird. You're gonna roll. Oh wow! <laughs> It's a wheel bed. So now we've settled in in Punta Arenas. We've done some grocery shopping for our little flat. And as you can see, we are wearing shawls and jackets. It's not cold, but it's we are right at the sea, so it's uh, the, there's a little bit of a marine wind. That, like 15 maybe? Yeah, maybe 16, yeah, 15. And... Uh, Look at this cute little house. Like a flower garden. I never promise you a rose garden. 
So we're going to go and have a coffee first and then we're going to visit the most visited site and the most famous site of Punta Arenas and that is the cemetery. We, we usually don't go and visit cemeteries. We did that in Tokyo. Yeah. It was but rated by the Times Magazine of New York to be the most beautiful cemetery in the world. I, I don't know but let's see if that's true. <laughs> now we are at the graveyard and you can see the weather is also really treating us well. I'm standing in front of a memorial for the uh, victims of the military dictator, dictatorship in Chile and these all pillars are from here. So this is the old part and you can see those bushes around us. I've seen pictures when they have been cut in a nice shape. Some of them still are but they apparently need to be done later in the fall here but this is very impressive and we have this light that we know from the north in the late summer and actually we are now in the same situation here in the late summer in the south, far south so the luminosity is very similar to the north cemetery. It's stunning. There are so beautiful graves. Marty made already some movies and there's a big uh, main, uh, main building or main entrance which was donated by Sarah Brown and she was supposed to be um, one of the persons who was an influencer here centuries ago, many years ago. <laughs> And there's yeah. supposed, to, supposed to be also a palazzo downtown where she was living. So we will have a look at that later. And also, of course, of her private mausoleum, which is also here on the cemetery, somewhere over there. Yeah, this is indeed an amazing, amazing place. And as you can see, all religions peacefully next to each other in the same resting place. And this is the mausoleum of Sarah Brown. Has a little kind of a Russian onion tower for me. But it's an amazing construction and it's located in a park in this park. And there's his husband, her husband, Jose Nogueira. And this is then the part for the ordinary people and not so illustrious families. Now we are in Sarah Brown's palace and the doorbell was just, is just ringing. Are you expecting some visitors? I have people for tea. <laughs> so this is a, a pa old palace which was built 1895 by Europeans and we will have a tour around in this palace with the French notorious decor 
notoriously French decor. This is very, very, very minimalist. That's Don Jose Noguera. That's he, her husband. So Maybe. that's so. This is the house of Sarah Brown on the square Munoz Camero in Punta Arenas. So this is the statue of Fernand Magellan. So who was that guy? He got the order from the Empire, from the King of Spain, from the King of Spain to find a route westwards so he sailed all the way down through the Atlantic Ocean but he didn't go through or by the Cap Horn. Cap Horn he went through the Magellan Street which is named after him and then he found another ocean which he named the Peaceful Sea or how we call it today the Pacific That's him. so he was actually the first who uh, did the around the world sailing trip because he had been eastwards to the Philippines already and then he sailed westwards and through the Pacific and his fleet reached back home through the western route although himself he died in the Philippines in a battle so theoretically he did the first around the world trip because he had already been in the Philippines but so we are in one of the best coffees in town it's called coffee tostado supposed to be one of the best and look at this cake <laughs> this is for one person I just put Marty's face next to it so you can compare <laughs> the cake it's just gigantic <laughs> and finally a decent coffee I'm so happy it smells fantastic bon appetit so this was the way we saw it in Puerto Natales in south of Chile in the Antarctic region of Chile and behind me you can see the Magellan Strait we will uh, probably take the, you take you there sorry uh, on the next vlog thank you for watching put a thumbs up please subscribe see you soon bye